Gemini Cancer cusp. Welcome to Told as Love. If you're returning, you're one of my other fellow Gemicans, I think we're called. Born June 17th through the 23rd. <laughs> Our month is here. And uh, thanks for coming back. There's so many viewers that for Gemini Cancer, I'm like, I'm always so pleasantly surprised. I shouldn't be at this point. So this is literally a, like, I had no intentions of doing this reading right now. I mean, your girl has on no makeup. I have was out running errands. I still need to go out and run errands. But I've had so many nudges and things happening just within the last 24 hours, less than 24 hours, that I'm like, I think I need to do a Gemini Cancer reading. And like, I can't tell you the last time I felt, probably when I came back from my hiatus, it was like, I, I feel like I need to do a reading, the Gemini Cancer cusp reading. Um, <clears throat> I had that feeling today. So this morning while I had to do some driving, I was like, I'm going back, I'm getting out my cards. So I didn't even write down a pre-message for you, but I have one. I feel like I'm connected with a Gemini Cancer cusp who is, um, maybe this is why I kept seeing all that Scorpio energy. There is change happening and I feel like I've mentioned change and like the wind um, several times, but I feel like there is straight, a big change transformation happening with Gemini Cancer cusp this Gemini season, this spring season, this summer, maybe within the past like six months or with the upcoming six months, but there is like a, how do I describe it? It's like you're stacking your life differently and you're doing things differently and you're elevating. And I feel like I'm connected with the Gemini Cancer Cusp who is understanding that they stick out in the crowd for all the right reasons and that they need to protect that energy at all costs because I don't feel like they're everyone in Gemini's cancer space smiling at them and wishing them well is actually doing and feeling that so I feel like there's a uh, a normally very popular he's at all the kids sporting events or she's always at the classes and recitals it's like someone who was well known has kind of reeled in and is looking at things is more like I'd rather have four quarters than a hundred pennies because I can trust the four quarters you can't trust a hundred people you know what I mean I feel like there was another message too. It was just something could be happening rapidly. Like this is all happening all of a sudden. Things that you've wanted to happen, like maybe you've always wanted to be married and maybe not even married. You've always just wanted to be in a partnership and pregnant. And you've been waiting and you've been waiting and you've been waiting and I feel like something quick just happens, it happens. You've always wanted to start a side, this side business. It's been in your thoughts. Little did you know you've been manifesting it for years. Every time you cooked and practiced baking in your home, thinking about this food truck idea that you've had that you'd always wanted to start, um, little did you know in the movements of what you were doing and the preparing and the getting ready you were actually manifesting by thinking these positive thoughts and doing the things and poof there's a truck in your your garage now you got a, your first gig coming next week and like you're like I thought this day would never come I, I just got something it could be someone for education like they're finally getting this degree that they're like I thought this day would never come. I envisioned getting this license and holy shit, here I am. However it resonates. You make my heart pound. Oh, you, you make my heart pound. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> like, what are the odds? My first card says the word heart, and I have on a shirt that has a heart. See, these are the little synchro synchronicities to me that there's, that's not a coincidence. That's a, yep, you're supposed to be doing this right now. Like, this message is probably fucking meant for me. <laughs> Bitch, get your shit together. <laughs> It'll be okay. Someone's favorite color may be blue. Like, or your house is heavily decorated blue. Smokes, drinks too much. Um, eternal flirt. I feel like this is a parent, too. I feel like there's a parent here who has children who um, gets, oh, let me finish this before I say that, say what I'm thinking. Tell them, okay, I will. I feel like it's a parent here who like is uh, drinking a little too much or that might not even be smoking. It could be like you're eating an ed edible and you're going and doing stuff and it's like you're doing it a little too much. Like you used to do it for fun and um, now you're doing it like <laughs> too much. Maybe someone started this because it was to help them with um, blood pressure. I've smiled in your hate face whole while I've been talking shit about you behind your back. I'm so glad I'm doing this reading. Hmm. I'm so attracted to you physically, mentally, spiritually was the next one. You keep me hanging on. Playing dumb money being taken advantage of okay um i'm so glad i'm doing this because i was listening to a um gemini cancer cusp reading someone's getting communication that's coming in fast because that that motorcycle is making me think of the eight of wands and that straight communication. Someone's saying something straight to the point. Maybe someone has asked you to come see them. It would involve traveling, but um, maybe you're going to be traveling coming up, Gemini Cancer Cusp. Um, so, I recently got an email as I'm even thinking about how I listened to a Gemini reading earlier that I haven't had a reading make me kind of physically sick because it resonated and it was dawning on me so many things and I can't even tell you how long but I was listening to this reading and it was part of why I was like I need to do a Gemini cancer cusp reading because shit's, shit's popping, shit's going down somewhere. Too many weird things have been happening in the past two days for me to be like this is there's something going on in the universe. So, I, uh, <laughs> oh shit, I hear this reading and I'm like, oh man, it's making me sick to my stomach and I'm sitting here thinking, you, um, someone could be listening to my readings and getting sick to their stomach because something is dawning on them. I got an email from someone saying they were awake thinking about what was in a reading and like my intentions here are told as love so I don't have any, if I've ever upset anybody or like this, this shit is, is touchy. I, I want to say I was 28. I know I was 28 years old. I pulled three cards. Um, I was not as good. I only had this deck. I don't even. I didn't even have this deck. I had um, a regular Rider weight deck. I pulled three cards. Told the person who I knew a little bit about her love life, just because I had seen what was going on around the house. I was like, just told her about being juggled and like feeling deep emotions but not talking about it and really yada 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 the next thing I know I look up she's standing there bawling crying her eyes out and that's not the first time that that's happened to me I just start telling people what I feel and think in the cards and I look up and they're getting emotional like that is never my intentions my intentions are always positive and I think um 
in today's day and age, that's like a freaking superpower to stay positive because I'm a goddamn Care Bear. <laughs> oh, weirdo Care Bear. Oh, shit. Um... Okay, so going back to what I was uh, starting to say here, I think there's a Gemini Cancer cusp here who um, could be edibles, it could be smoking weed, hitting a vape pen, could be uh, drinking, like I'm seeing someone adding a clear liquid nip into like a Dunkin' Donuts, like being extra sneaky. A Dunkin Donuts clear thing so like nobody would know or Starbucks a clear thing so it's like it doesn't seem like any alcohol at all but it's because the alcohol is clear <sighs> even like a Gatorade bottle or a yeah like you'd never think that there's alcohol in that Gatorade that someone's drinking but there is and um, I think when someone gets maybe they drink and smoke maybe this is a gemini cancer cusp who likes to get two on the tanache song is in my head tanache yeah tanache i love to get on i love to get two on someone becomes a big flirt i also feel this doesn't even need to be you it could be you I think this is someone else, however it resonates. Someone who you think is in your corner and is your friend, when they get a little lit or a little too lit, too lit, too on maybe, they start talking shit and you are one of the topics that gets brought up, Gemini Cancer Cusp. I feel like I'm looking at a female hanging out with a bunch of guys shooting the shit. Like when someone smokes or drinks too much, they get very flirty and they become a shit talker. Something else here about um, blood pressure. But again, that's why I'm like, maybe someone's smoking weed to help like blood pressure. But it's like they've taken it to like a, to a, a point where it's like, Yo, you don't need to be smoking weed before you go to the supermarket for your blood pressure. I don't know, something like that. Like, not that someone's abusing it. It's someone's like having a lot of fun with it. But it turns them into a flirt. <clears throat> well, as always, Gemini, please, Gemini Cancer Cuss, please let me know if it resonates. I feel like, all right, here's something else. If there's someone in your life, Gemini Cancer Cusp, when you hear from them, like if they are like, it's like, oh, here comes Lindsay or Lindsay's texting me and she wants to know if I can talk on the phone right now or I just got a text from Alex asking if he can talk, like his email says could we talk about um could we talk about xyz this could be a friend it could be a relative it could be a coworker. however it resonates i feel like this person um may already suspect that you smoke or drink too much um I feel like this person gives you anxiety. Someone gets anxiety. Um, their heart starts pounding talking to this person because I feel like um, maybe you know intuitively they're, they're not really your friend. Fuck, I was going to say something. This was the message I was, well, I was definitely meant to say it now because I'm looking at um, temperance, Sagittarius energy, but Two cards that I saw when I was um, shuffling were 
temperance and the page of swords and I thought oh shit there's a Sagittarius who wants to talk or is watching online and thinking about what they would say how to how to approach Gemini Cancer cusp and I really think that's true because I saw a Sagittarius yesterday that I haven't seen in a while but which makes me wonder if he, he's the one who's watching and wondering what to say but I had already thought like oh there's a Sagittarius and then here he is again he or she can't make up their mind don't know what to say they think you are so valuable and I think someone has thought about communicating with you you could have already dated this person and it ended but I have a funny feeling or there was something like um, maybe you worked really well together Gemini cancer cusp like in work and there something happened and maybe you don't work together anymore but this person has always thought fondly of you and has high uh I want to say high hopes for you and like high um I don't want to say expectations it's like they have high, what the fuck am I trying to say <clears throat> fond memories like they think highly of you even if things didn't go well or if something got weird a little it's like they all they they're not thinking about what went wrong they're just holding on to the good memories if anything they're thinking about what they did um maybe they smoked or drank too much and were smiling in your face while they were talking shit behind your back i'm also getting now that i'm going with this there could be someone gemini cancer cuss who you made their heart pound when you were around and you didn't even know it. Um, this person is either viewed as a flirt or you were viewed as a flirt. I mean, if you look in, um, I think it's the relationship of birthdays or like the big huge astrology book about birthdays. The um, Gemini Cancer Cusp is known as the cusp of magic and is the eternal 21 year old has this youthful energy, um, always seeing life differently with bright eyes, and I'm thinking that, like, someone could have thought you were an eternal flirt, like you were flirty with everyone, especially when you were smoking or drinking, but um, I also get this is someone who you didn't even know, because this is so crazy. It's like they have a crush on you and they want you so much, but they couldn't be with you or for whatever reason and they could they would flirt with you but they're not with you and they talk shit and it's like it's a uh it's like i can't have her so i'm gonna talk bad about her or he's not dating me so and i want him there so much so i'm gonna blab about his secrets because f him and this has something to do with like a rejection not being used to rejection I haven't even freaking started. Someone's fear or rejection, it's like they'd rather stay in the zone, maybe the friend zone of you make my heart pound and you don't even know it and I'll continue to flirt with you, but it's, I'm really actually spiteful because I want you. <laughs> I'm spiteful because I want you, page of wands. And this is reminding me of like young love, like, Someone, ha someone is so hot and bothered, it's like, you may have known this person for quite a, some time, Gemini Cancer Cusp. They, you could have known them in high school. The moon reverse. There's cancer energy. Three. I'm also feeling like, um... This goes back to what I was saying. There was some sort, this could have been someone you've already dated, Gemini Cancer Cusp. Um, and, or if you didn't date, you just had a, a bad ending. Maybe you didn't work with, you used to work with this person and you no longer work with them. But like the tower fell, the shit hit the fan. That page of wands is wondering what it would take to um, get that tower fixed like to start anew with that fool card who just got all this 
Pisces, I think maybe it was manifestation. Might have been Sagittarius. Holy shit, we are here at the party. Gemini Cancer Cusp and the Moon card. Dude, this is definitely someone you've already dated. Could be a Gemini, could be a Cancer. Could be someone with Gemini and Cancer in their chart. Who knows they let you down? Who knows they broke your heart? I feel like that's the secret too. It's like maybe there's an like wasn't I saying an ego here a little bit? Like someone doesn't want to admit that they know that they did you dirty. Someone was done dirty. Or you, Gemini Cancer Cusp, don't want to admit that you know you did this person dirty. You were either doing something that you shouldn't have been doing or you weren't doing something that you should have been doing. You could have been like in a relationship talking to someone else. You could have had, you could have been talking to one person and had like his friend on the side giving you the eye and you were like spinning or are you looking at me? Damn, I'm even seeing like this shit was going down like someone was like watching a Gemini Cancer Cusp relationship end and like they were waiting for their chance or think like now this is my chance. Wow. So the tower is Scorpio and Aries energy. And of course, what would be a reading for a Gemini if there wasn't Scorpio? In it? <laughs> this also makes me think of some of like someone not being aware of what's being said behind them, behind their back. She is not aware of what's of the the burning that's going on behind her. She's just, someone may have this like a, it's almost like a too positive view on life. That's the way people see it is like, you're not, um, like you don't see things clearly or you're not realistic. Wow, three of swords. Someone thinks or knows that it would take a lot of work to come back or to offer, to make an offer. I feel like someone is like, this is gonna sound so cheesy. It's like they know they put the 10 swords in you and they hurt you, but they're willing to put in the work to take out each and every one of those swords that hurt you, Gemini, Cancer Cusp, and to build you up again, something like that. I feel like someone sees your value more, even more than you do. The sun reversed. The strength reversed. Double Leo energy. So you could have had a falling out with a Leo, specifically with that tower in reverse. Um, King of Pentacles. Followed by the chariot reverse, more cancer energy, followed by the hierophant, 
Jesus, followed by the Two of Cups. The sun and strength, strong sun, a strong sun. I get this energy, Gemini, um, Cancer cusp that like there are things that have been said or done that you aren't aware of and there are things that have been said and done that you were not supposed to be aware of that you're like you're not a dumbass you're not a fool you know what happened here you know why that tower is burning maybe you're just choosing to ignore the negative and move forward um I feel like I'm watching a shit storm of um, work or a relationship fall, fall to pieces and Gemini Cancer Cusp is like, I am not going to let this rain on my parade. I'm not gonna let any of this shit bring me down. I know my worth. I'm like turning my back to this. I'm starting something new. And I feel like you have a Leo specifically or someone with a lot of leo in their chart like watching you start a new life or like just turn you back to them and i feel like they're kind of like what like where you where she got where are they going where's gemini cancer cusp going I feel like Gemini Cancer Cusp, you are so, your gifts of giving and you give back, whether it's energetically, whether you, it's financially, whether it's through donations and people don't even know that you do these donations, but the world, know, the God knows, the universe knows. Um, all the good that you've put into the world has been like, coming back I feel like you've put out good into the world and that shit comes back to you and I feel like either there's someone watching like how is how is Gemini Cancer Cusp avoiding like the same going through the same shit that I did when I was in that situation like how are they not having to deal with that someone is like seeing you differently now like I feel like this is someone having oh my god here's the Sagittarius energy again someone having an aha moment and like thinking about you differently like a light bulb has gone off in their head and they are like oh my gosh like Gemini Cancer Cusp avoided all that bullshit because they were like vibing higher or like I feel like this is someone who um This is also someone who's like thinking about all the shit that they said behind your back that you weren't aware of, Gemini Cancer Cusp. See all those swords? Those are energetic negative shit that's been said about you that you didn't even know about was slowing you down and sucking your energy. Being said by someone that you thought you could trust because you were in the same boat with them. Maybe you literally said that to someone before. Like, we're in the same boat. We're all in the same boat together. And, like, little did you know, this person was playing you for a fool. And, like, they were not being nice to you or... Um, I'm getting a lot of like you were having your energy sucked on and you didn't even know it. And I feel like maybe this is part of an aha moment where someone's realizing like all the freaking stress and anxiety and shit that I've been dealing with and carrying around are actually from these other motherfuckers who, is, who are like projecting their negative energy on me. Maybe there's a, like a 
sponge of a Gemini Cancer cusp out there who is um, like you just you've come to be aware when you're feeling certain feelings and when you're thinking about certain thing people it's because like you're tapped into an energy with that person um, I saw that Sagittarius yesterday and I started getting wicked anxious in my head thinking about like the things that led up to um, like the ending of my friendship with him and um, I realized after I saw him I'm like this isn't my energy this is his energy because he's looking at the things that happened that ended our friendship and um, what could have been I feel like he's he's looking at the things that he said and did about behind my back that I wasn't aware of that I maybe always had an inkling I or someone always had an inkling something was amiss this could be that Leo I feel like I'm look I'm it's like someone's being like how how do you do it like they're looking at you as like a magician an angel uh like someone like with magic powers like how did they do it like how did they avoid the tower moment just turn their back on it and walk away wow six of swords then seven of swords which six and seven is gemini and cancer so I feel like there may have been an ending here. It was like an ending before anything could even begin between you and this person. There was an ending and um, maybe some harsh things were said or communication that people don't know about. The lovers reversed. Yes, and the death card is popping out here. More Scorpio energy. This, oh, and the tower is behind it. More Scorpio energy. This is someone who's, who's like, I fucked up. That person was a ride or die. They had a lot of love for me. They showed their love. And I stampled, stampled, trampled. This is, um... unconditional love I'm seeing here too someone being like I just fucked up and I I'm hearing I fumbled a um a real ride or die someone who was so it's like someone's realizing how freaking powerful you are Gemini Cancer Cusp because you were not brought down by the shit that was going on around you that they were freaking part a part of. It's so bizarre. And this is kind of like that reading I was listening to that had me shook. It's like a uh, hating on you because you're so powerful and beautiful and um, nice and well known and like having a good energy and like hating on you because of that and then seeing that Jesus, they didn't succumb to the pressure or all these people talking about them and like the whole business is talking about Gemini Cancer Cusp and he even knows about it and he's not going to waver. He's not going to not look confident. He's not going to bat an eye because he knows he's above that and he knows at the end of the day the truth or what he's worth and like he's very whatever let them think what they want they can hang on to whatever thought they have if they want to think xyz about me like that's fine this is a very and that i think has been um you don't even know how tested you are being behind your back your name is being tested or has been tested.
people like envying you because of your strength and your light and warmth like the sun and not knowing where the hell does this person get it? They could have, their life could have just fallen apart and this person is still sunny and strong. I feel like this is someone thinking about all the things that they've said or done about you that you weren't aware of. I feel like there was a trust here, like a blinding trust. Yeah, because this girl is just, she is in that boat going ahead. She doesn't even know where she's going. She's like, her hair's in her face, but she just trusts that person. And little does she know that person is saying shit about them as they direct where they're going. Wow, six of swords. This is this is the I've smiled in your face whole while I've been talking shit about you. Wow, look at all the great things you've done, Gemini Cancer Cusp, when really there's like, well, they're this and they're that, and they've done this and they've fucked up that, and this is very two face. Knight of Wands, reversed, King of Cups, the Devil, it's Capricorn energy. I feel like someone's interest in you, um, Gemini Cancer Cusp, has changed. Someone who was like, this is someone for me to flirt with and maybe I, maybe I hook up with Gemini Cancer Cusp, maybe they found you attractive, but someone's realizing like fuck i'm actually i actually have feelings for her or him or someone started off as like a heavy serious sexual attraction and then it's like shit i actually have feelings for this person someone is fighting how they feel someone is like there is a lot of sexual attraction here gemini cancer cusp Someone is looking mighty fucking fine. The High Priestess reverse. You are not aware that someone here like really would love to partner with you. Like happily ever after. But there is a big fear that you would not accept this love offer or apology. Because that's what I think I'm seeing right here. Like someone grappling with the idea of reaching out to you, but they think you're so guarded and you wouldn't have anything to do with them. I also think this is like an, um, there's like a fear that Gemini Cancer Cusp has her, has his or her egg, eggs in a row, has like their ducks in a row, has their shit together. And someone's like, I'm still out here fighting to get what I need for hours for work and this person has their own job and business like someone is worried about that um i think someone it's also acknowledging too like The ending, there, the ending in the end was bad. There was fighting. Could have been between more than one person. It was just a really bad, toxic ending. And like now someone's moved on and um, guarded themselves. And maybe, I feel like there's a shit talker who's like, why would this person trust me? Like they would have to be a real dumbass to trust me. The star. Um... Aquarius energy someone thinks there is no way to heal this situation that's Virgo energy even though they would love to be able to get a chance because we have page of wands again this is that chance they would love to go about things differently I I also thought like if it was someone you've dated which this page of wands and all these fire do represent um Sagittarius we have a lot of fire here with Leo as well, but um, I feel like uh, someone 
it's it's like they knew they did this person dirty while at the same time knowing that they always would have wanted to be with this person and would have wanted a chance with this person and they don't think there's anything that they can do that would make it better like they think this is uh not like they would not get back together with me excuse me i also see someone who's like damn gemini cancer cusp is out here taking care of themselves they're not even taking care of anybody else they're on their own and like coming across as someone who's not interested in giving to others or no new friends it's like i just want to be alone three of wands reversed with three of cups reversed at the bottom followed by the knight of swords so once when these readings start to repeat in the message with the full reversed again I, that's when I know it's my time to end and I'm looking at Sagittarius again in here um will not end but move on to the next deck but I feel like um someone tried to make you an option or make you feel like you're an option or make you feel like they would be uh giving you an opportunity to be with them if they were to date you like like they had so much so many other options to choose from that if you two were to kick it it would be like they'd be giving you the option of being with them i think someone's attitude that used to think that way has totally fucking flipped and realized there is absolutely no one out there like gemini cancer cusp either for this job for me for this situation for this position and it's like they would love to chase after you gemini cancer cusp because while those this i'm seeing that meme that's like you can't hang out with us like bitches i don't want to and someone's finally realizing like they would rather have the girl or the person who is thinking ahead or thinking big I think it's more about thinking big rather than just focused on partying and living in the now someone's like this chick's thinking about the bigger schemes of life maybe this chick used to be someone who partied and they finally moved on and kind of grew up a little bit and are having this new beginning I feel like you are either going to be told you aren't like anybody else or you've been told you aren't like anybody else or um, I'm hearing like the party died when you left, like when you moved on, it's, it was just over. I might title this they haven't been nearly as happy as they were when you were in their life, Gemini Cancer Cusp. You are the sun and the strength and you were the party and you, it was like you were so bright, the opposite of this person who was dark like the moon, that they talked shit about it. ace of wands ace of pentacles and the empress i'm telling you someone has always wanted to be with you gemini cancer cusp has always wanted to make you like a baby mama or baby daddy they've always saw the value in you and being a a pater parental figure like uh this person would be a great mother this person would be a great father you may have offered a lot of warm feminine energy into this person's life there was so much value here that they, I feel like, tried to act like you were one in a, like you were one in a mil, like 
you're one in a million, well, oh, no, but not in a good way. Like, they're not, they're realizing that there's nobody else in the fucking world like you, Gemini Cancer Cusp. But at the time, they led you to believe that they could get anybody else they wanted in the world and that you were one of many in the world that they wanted or could they could get. They led you to believe there was all this competition. I could get whoever I want. I'm going to allow you to have this chance with me. Knowing damn well that you're a motherfucking emperor or an empress. You're the one with the value. You're the one that's like... I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need this. I don't need you. If you're going to bring any negativity into my life, go fuck it. Go fuck yourself. Goodbye. <laughs> if that's not a, like, a true Massachusetts girl, go fuck yourself. Best wishes. <laughs> Maybe that's what you wish you could say to this person. Go fuck yourself. Best wishes. Like, you didn't see my value then. I knew how much I, I meant to you. You know how much I brought into your life and uh, into your corner of the world. Now you want to come back around after you've talked all this shit about me that you think I don't know, but I'm a damn motherfucking emperor or empress with a freaking intuition and I've known your shady ass been talking. Someone that like... They just know that if they were to come around, they would get called out just like that. Like, the truth is, someone deserves to be called out and, like, ripped anew and then left. Because I think that's what they did to you, Gemini Cancer Cusp. I think they let you believe that you weren't worth what you were worth. That may have led to, like, some demons and insecurities within yourself but this is a this is someone who um i want to say isn't worth shit this is someone who like saw the value in you so 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 much saw how great and powerful you were they were envious and jealous and uh male or female to a uh, male or female there was some sort of attraction here though. Either attracted to this person's aura, energy, power, emphasis, like uh, attracted to like a uh, heterosexual female being attracted to the bad bitch energy of another heterosexual female and just being like, damn, that bitch got it and I gotta figure out what she's got. Something there could be an attraction to the energy to that effect But I think someone led you to believe that you didn't have that much of an effect on them That you weren't Bringing to the table as much as you actually were into their life And um, I think it's it led to some sleepless nights and Maybe late night texts of saying to them, like, I don't know why this is so difficult. I, wow, I didn't even notice this card. I don't know why you can't, like, you're juggling me. Like, I don't know why you're making me feel like you don't know that we belong together. I don't know why you're making me feel like, um, it's, it's, I want to say, like, I don't know why you think, you, like, you can make me feel like I'm not shit. Like, who are you to make me feel that way? I'm the fucking, I am the fucking shit. And you're trying to make me feel like I'm not shit. That's not, two people holding each other up. That's an imbalance. Someone here liked to lead the other one to believe that they were juggling them or that they could juggle them or that they weren't as valuable as they actually were. And I am telling you right now, Gemini Cancer Cusp, you were in their life. 
They fumbled you. They juggled you. They tried to juggle you. They led you to believe that they could juggle you. And they juggled and fumbled a freaking empress or an emperor. Just because they don't see the value doesn't mean you don't become less of an empress or an emperor. It just means they're a goddamn joke like this fucking person is. I'm gonna leave it right there. Gemini Cancer Cusp. Fuck them. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.